So these are our neighbors. This is our house from the street. The neighbors behind us. So it's a pretty tall gate. Don't think Mackenzie will be able to jump that. We can pull it shut if we need to. So here's the house. Yard definitely needs some TLC, but that's okay. Nice tall windows. And that's the front. We have a nice little private patio over here. And that just goes down the side of the house. There's a gate from the backyard to the heat pump. This is the entry. Pretty sizable. Probably put the bikes in here. Here's the living room. Some random dude walking by. This is the dining room. It has a little bay window over here. Nice hardwood floors. She said she had to peel up lots of layers of laminate flooring. This is what we'll use the master. The entry's right over here. So we'll probably keep this door shut, but here's the bedroom. And that's the door to the bathroom. I'll go back through there in a second. Sorry, I'm going to flip the camera on you. Get a little more height than here. This is the kitchen, which is probably laid out the worst. This is our one little bit of storage that we have under the stairs. Be able to, well, we have an attic too, but this is the beautiful floor that she did. Two by two birch. Right here's our wonky kitchen. That's the weirdest part right there. And I'll back up so you can see the whole thing. So that's the kitchen. We have to get creative here because we've got some weird stuff going on. We do share a backyard with our neighbors. So you can see they like to play cornhole. Matt will be very excited. The backyard needs some TLC too. Those are our chicken coops. And then there are the stairs that go upstairs to the attic and the third bedroom. This will be the probably the main guest bedroom. And it shares. It's like Jack and Jill bathroom, sort of. So here's the bathroom. It's pretty sizable. Although the shower's kind of low for Matt, but that's okay. This is cute. And then over here are the washer and dryer. We're gonna get some overhead cabinets to go here. We'll probably get those from IKEA. So we can put laundry detergent and whatnot. It's just a kind of a toffee colored porcelain tile. I'll go upstairs. The doors need some, I'm not sure. It looks just like wood filler, but it gives it character. Brand new central heat in there, so I've got a digital readout. Cool little steel pipe handrail. More hard hardwoods up here. That's the door to the attic. Here's the third bedroom. I'll probably use this as a study, studio space. These are those really cool 
row on 25th that I started out the video with. So the same people that designed and developed these bought the lot just across the street and they're going to be doing something over there as well. So this is a nice sized room for an office. Kind of has the vaulted ceiling. And then we have, oh, and she put in dedicated outlet just in case we want to put a window unit in there if it gets too hot up here. And then we have a, probably hard to see, but newly insulated attic. Pretty sizable. She's put down some plywood for us so we can use this for storage as well. So, pretty big up here. We have lots of space. I know it's probably hard to see, but. Alright, well I'll take another video when we get everything moved in. Today's moving day. Tomorrow's serious moving day with the moving truck. Um, so I'll talk to you soon. Love you.